cheat on me. You deserve what's coming. This all went down about five years ago. Me and my then wife were married for about three years at that point. She came from a very conservative Christian family. Her parents never liked me because one, I wasn't religious and two, I'm a Democrat. They tried their best to convince her not to marry me, but to no avail. Looking back I wish they had convinced her to not marry me. At some point, during the marriage my wife began to withdraw. We went from having three times a week to three times a month to once a month. She told me that she didn't really like having that much and that she did it mostly to please me. What I didn't know was that she didn't want to have that much with me because she was getting her elsewhere. How did I find out? Well, my wife was using my laptop, her laptop was being repaired, and accidentally clicked the Remember Me box on her email. I went to check my email and it redirected to hers. I saw every message she sent to this guy and basically confirmed that she was cheating on me. Like any sane person who realizes their marriage is over I filed for divorce. Also I alerted the other man's GF and she promptly dumped him. Now, like I stated before her parents never really liked me. When they found out I was divorcing her, they went ballistic. Apparently she lied to them and said that I cheated on her. I kept getting hateful emails from them every other week. After our divorce was final, I told her parents that she cheated on me and sent them proof. Her dad emailed me saying he was sorry and that he's disappointed in his daughter. All I replied with was well now you know what kind of person your daughter is, never contact me again. Neither of them have contacted me since. About a year after our divorce, I get a long email from my ex with the subject as thanks. I thought it would be some sort of thank you letter, but it was far from that. Some of it read like this, thanks for making my parents hate me, thanks for driving me to cheat on you, thanks for ruining my life that was the last I ever heard of her. Her parents disowned her and she was the shame of the small town she came from. According to Facebook she now lives in Australia, but considering she hasn't posted anything in three years, I might be wrong. Also, remember the GF of the guy my wife was cheating on me with. That woman is now my fiancé. I dot win. Story 2. Should we keep being FWB even though I don't think this relationship will work for now? 23F23M. I've been dating my boyfriend for almost three years. It started off so passionate and eventually settled into a calmer slow burn that felt like home. We very much love each other, have a lot in common in terms of life goals, and always have a good time together. I can be 100% myself with him. However, a few problems. We had distance building throughout 2021 and really stopped dating each other and lost the Yule spark. This plus a two-month period where I was depressed and leaning on my boyfriend led to him realizing he wanted a big change. First he set a break, but immediately changed his mind and wanted an open relationship. His reasoning. He loves me and wants a future with me, but he's not ready to settle down and wants to mess around with others in his 20s. At first I said no way to open since I'm already a jealous person, but I actually agreed with his perspective. I'm curious to date around too, and this is a way to scratch that itch while still keeping the amazing connection we have. We've been doing this for a month and neither of us have actually gotten with others, and our relationship fire has actually returned. However I've realized that I'm not okay with open, if he does eventually get with someone I won't be able to recover without seriously emotionally distancing myself. I'll come to hate him. I also think there are some ways in which he's crossed small relationship boundaries. For example, he promised not to like his friend turned in Stom bikini models photos, but recently started again. After I called him out, he removed a few of them at random. Stuff like this has been a pattern. Last time we fought about this a year ago, it's because he made a secret private account to keep liking it without me noticing. You're welcome to the opinion that I shouldn't care about what he likes but at the end of the day, it makes me feel disrespected and would prefer that this isn't the topic we debate. These things make me not trust him to follow our open relationship rules. That being said, we have a really, really good time together and I'm able to open up to him more than with anyone. I would be really sad to not have him in my life. Is there a world in which it makes sense to stop being in a relationship but be FWB so I can drop the expectations, fully date around myself, and gradually emotionally distance, or am I just causing myself more pain down the road?
and extra factor, I'm super busy with some work and other personal things so I feel like dealing with a breakup right now would be hard. Story 3. I need help moving on from a long friendship. I 32F. At a 15 plus year friendship with a girl, I'll call Lily 32F. We have been friends since the 7th grade, and we've had ups and downs like any normal friendship. She has had a hard life, I won't go super into it because it isn't my place, but it's been rough. I've tried to be there for her as much as I could, have her stay with me for weeks on end. Once tried to help her out of jail, I lived in an apartment and they only allowed two people per room. I tried to get her out, but they wouldn't let me and I couldn't get a hold of her. She didn't talk to me until her mom told her what happened, and that kinda made me salty, but I understood we have had our differences, mostly political. But I kept my mouth shut, or at least tried, not to make anyone upset, and she would post whatever. We even stopped talking, not that we were mad or anything, just life happens and stuff. Lily's mom friended me on Facebook, and we, Lily and I, started to kinda talk again. I even asked if she would want to hang out as soon as my family got into a place. We were homeless for a while. This is where I think I lost her. My whole family caught COVID. I did a post on Facebook about how it sucks, but that's really it. I never talked about the shot, getting it or not getting it. I honestly don't know what happened. I noticed she stopped liking or commenting on my post and found out both she and her mom unfriended me. Not that her mother unfriended me bothered me, it was her not even messaging me, telling me what I did wrong that is getting me. We had 15 plus years together, I have a lot of her gifts and drawings still and I keep finding them around the house. I have a lot of friends who don't agree with me, and we have an unspoken agreement not to talk about it, or to agree to disagree. Lily and I had the same understanding, I thought. I'm sorry to be so vague, there is just so much I don't want to share. There was a time I let a lot of friendships kinda freeze because a few years ago, I got really sick and depressed. I even asked if she would want to hang out as soon as my family got into a place. We were homeless for a while, this is where I think I lost her. My whole family caught COVID. I did a post on Facebook about how it sucks, but that's really it. I never talked about the shot, getting it or not getting it. I honestly don't know what happened. I noticed she stopped liking or commenting on my post and found out both she and her mom unfriended me. I stopped talking to a lot of people and closed myself in. I think that's what happened. I know people just move on and life happens. People grow up, have families and such. I knew this was going to happen at some point. I'm just really sad, I'm trying to get over it. But it feels like someone died and my heart is breaking. I tried to get into contact with the friends I do talk to but they aren't online when I am old. They're busy. I just need help moving on, some advice that could help would be nice. I just don't know what to do with myself. Being an adult is hard and sucks. Lol thanks. P.S. Please be kind if you can.